Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Houston News. Today is December the 27th, 2020. We're going to update you all on gold. We're going to get a price prediction as to where the market is anticipated to go right before it gets there. Before I get into that, if this is your first time watching our video, make sure before you go, you hit the like button, subscribe to our channel. We are a community of individuals who like to predict price movement, whether it's in stocks, cryptocurrencies, even in commodities. We play the trap. We beat him to the punch to make sure that he does not trap us in any losing positions. We're going to give you an example of that today on this video for gold. So if you guys appreciate our videos and our content, make sure you hit the like button, share, subscribe to our channel. Want to also allow you the opportunity to hit that bell notification. You want to become notified of whenever we upload our content to the particular platform so you do not miss out on our price predictions. Let's get into this real quick. Last time we did our video in gold was on December the 2nd. And as you all can see, we did not place a forecast into the market because we wanted to see the trap break price above $1,860. He's done that. So that tells us something now. So we did the video here on December the 2nd. He tried to break that price above 1860 on the 7th and the 8th. We came back down and now we are back above that $1,860 price level. Very, very good to see that. So now we have a little bit more information to play with in the sense of where the trap is likely to take the value of gold, okay? So with that being said, you guys can still tell that this market is still trending on our ascending line that we have drawn out on our chart. So what I'm going to do, since that is still a valid trend into the market in gold, I'm gonna extend it up just a little bit higher. The next thing, the market is still establishing that 1860 as support. That is very positive to see that in the long term. What I'm going to do though, I am going to get rid of it because we do not try to confuse each and every one of you. Predicting the market is not supposed to be confusing. The cleaner the chart, the more the individual understands price movement. The more confusing the chart, that individual does not know where price is going to go. So now, Got a clean chart. The overall trend in gold is one of higher price. Yes, when you look at the particular trend into the market in gold, it has been in a downtrend, right? So it's going to come to a battle right here on this descending line and the overall trend into the market in gold. Granted, the strength is definitely winning out. Every time the market in gold comes towards this descending line, it's been maintained based from the trap. So yes. The market is in a downtrend right now on gold, but based off prior historical price information, it is anticipated that the trap is going to try to maintain that price above 1860 to around 1840. So let's look at this market in gold real quick on a weekly time frame. Let me zoom in and we're going to get a better look into the market. So you guys can see the market was a wash last week. Okay. A lot did not go on into the market and go. We saw the price go higher. We saw the price go lower and we ended the week right where we started on the open. It was a wash. So we still have to go off of what has already been laid down from the trap prior to this last completed weekly price part to get understanding as to what the market is anticipated to do. OK, so we're still seeing strength overall into the market and gold on a weekly basis. We look at the market on a three week time frame. Same thing. The market definitely endured some weakness, but it was able to recover itself around 1840 to 1860. Monthly time frame. You guys can see right here that the month of December, you guys can still see that in November we did see weakness. But in December, we saw the reversal. The market stopped from going lower. Very, very positive to see that play out for gold. So that tells us, if anything, that this market in gold is going to sustain price at least above $1,840. $1,840. Okay. So, literally, the expectation is going to be quite simple. We are still going to expect the trap to continue to increase the value of gold. That is going to be our forecast, especially as we end out the month of December 2020. There is not that much weakness being generated on none of the time frames that we are pulling on our price charts. OK, so I definitely want to emphasize to each and every one of you that 1860 
it's going to be crucial for the trap to maintain that in order for us to see higher price I would bring it down to 1840 as well okay okay 1845 we'll do it around 1845 is the price that the trap cannot allow price to go below in order for us to continue to see this market see the prospect of higher price that's it so with our expectation of seeing this market and go go higher let's go ahead and generate a prediction into the market So here it is. So we said that 1845 cannot be broken to the downside, which is about one and nine, 1.93% 1 uh, market movement. I'm going to bring it down here to our ascended line. Since that has been confirmed as the area of support, we're going to bring it down there to our support line of about 2.88%. Okay. So. How high do you think the market's going to go though? We do have some historical information here in the background that we found some restriction and support, which is right there around 1910, $1,910. A plus number will be 1920 Okay. So you can definitely use that as the first TP area into the market for gold will be around 1920. I'm not going to give you the precise number, but around that vicinity. Okay, is where we will be expecting the market to find some sellers in gold. But we can definitely see this market go a little bit higher in price, which we're going to identify around 1945. Okay, that would be our ultimate TP price into the market for gold. But generally, based off this market history and gold, we're going to continue to expect the trap to go higher. We said that 1920 will be our initial TP area. TP simply means take profit. That is the price to where we would take the bag from the trap. Okay, so 1920. I'm sorry, uh, 1900 would be the first area, and then up there towards 1920 would be the next. Okay, and that's it. So now it's your turn. What do you all see in the market for gold? Where are we headed for the month of January? Where would price in gold be? I would say for the month of January, I'm going to go higher, lower, or I'm just going to trade sideways. It's nothing to be complicated about. The trap can only move the market three ways, higher, lower, sideways. So what way do you think he's going to take the price? This is our expectations. This is our prediction. Now we give you all the opportunity to tell us yours. Where will price be in the market for gold by the end of January? Let us know with a comment in the comment section. And don't make it complicated. There's enough complication going on in this particular space and we don't need to add to it. Questions, comments, let us know. Make sure you maintain the probability. Go and trade different.